Okay, doing a quick video here just showing a, a little piece of equipment that I think is worth buying. If you do many implants at all, then I think this is a, a really low cost investment that can give you some nicer uh, results with your custom abutments and really help them blend in better and more aesthetically. Um, and what I'm going to show in this video is actually how to do the titanium anodizing and I'm going to do it in a dual color. So we're going to make all the, the from the margin down, be uh, anodized pink and then from the margin up where the crown will be sitting over it, we're going to anodize that in gold. So this is what the anodizer looks like. The, the version that I purchased and there's many, many of them out there, but this one is from Painful Pleasures. Uh, which is a piercing supply place so uh, definitely make sure your significant other knows um, what that is on the credit card bill uh, when this thing comes in but this is it it's a very simple piece of equipment it's just got a power switch and the only thing that you really control is you would plug in your uh, your black node and uh, it goes into this uh, solution which has T TSP dissolved in this uh, water um, and then a little foil sheet and the the black node gets connected here and then you've got the red or the positive node which is going to be what you touch the uh, titanium abutment with to anodize it and so you can see on here the colors of the various um, voltages what they're going to yield for you when you put the titanium in there and so i'm going for this gold color with the uh, crown portion and I would like to do this pink with the remainder of it. And so the way this happens is you put this in and the titanium is going to go through all of these colors uh, until it gets to the one that you uh, are, are aiming for. So initially to start with, what I'm going to do is put the entire thing in and anodize it in uh, gold. And then we're going to block out from the margin upward, the part that's going to be the prep of the, the tooth that the crown sits on. And then we'll block that out and then put it back in the solution so that the solution can't touch that area. And we'll continue applying higher voltage. We'll go up to uh, 72 to 75 and we'll apply a greater voltage on that and go ahead and get that part uh, raised up to pink. So let me put the phone on a holder here and I'll show you how this works. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is just take my custom abutment. I'm going to go ahead and drop it into this solution and we want it to be fully covered. And I've dialed the, dial, uh, the voltage in at 62 and that's that gold color. So watch closely as, uh, as, I apply the voltage, as I apply this voltage to it. You'll see it bubble a little bit and it'll begin going through the color changes. And that's it. So now you can see the nice gold color on it. And I'm going to take this out and dry it off. Now for many abutments, you could just stop at this, um, and usually I would honestly, but I am going to go ahead and just show you if you wanted to uh, take it a step further and color it a little bit more. So now you can see this abutment, and if I don't want the solution to get to this anymore from the margin up, then what I'm going to use is some blockout resin. This is the stuff that you can uh, you know, purchase from any supply house that you would use for uh, blocking out the little wells for bleaching tray materials. And so I keep this around. I use quite a bit of this uh, stuff. It's really nice to have around. It's really cheap. And all I'm doing is applying this and covering up all the area that I want to maintain that nice gold color on and then we'll cure that and I'm not worried about curing this really really hard I just want it to pretty much stay on there during the anodizing process and then be easy to peel off so that's good let's bring our solution back drop it back in and for the pink color what we're after is in the range of 72 to 75 volts so I'm just turning up the dial for the voltage 
And there we go, that put it on 75. And go ahead and poke this down in there a little bit more so it's fully underneath the solution. And now watch the yellow portion. As more voltage is applied, it's gonna go through another color change. And you see it start to begin to turn gold. So when sitting under the gingiva, this is going to blend in nicely and uh, not show any of the color of the gingiva, or I'm sorry, any color of the abutment shining through. So now we dry this off. Hopefully we can peel this stuff off pretty easily. Yeah, so since I didn't cure it, the full cure, it peels right off. And now you see this uh, really nice two-tone abutment, and that took very little time to accomplish. And uh, again, really, really affordable thing to do, um, and I find this to be super useful. So there's a zoomed-in view of it, and uh, the, I think these titanium anodizers are a couple hundred bucks, and the solution uh, is you know, just a couple of dollars to maintain. So it's a really inexpensive thing to do. So hopefully you found that useful.